Hello again. So here are the notes on reproduction. We're going to be talking about two types of reproduction. Here are the two types of reproduction. We've got sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. Uh, and what I've written in red in my handwriting towards the bottom and the right side, that's the most important thing. So let's talk about sexual first. With sexual reproduction, we're going to have two parents and they're going to combine their genes and pass them on to their offspring. Uh, it takes two parents, a male and a female parent, and we're going to have high genetic variation here. So here's the deal with what's happening. With sex cells, meaning sperm and egg, they only have half of a person's DNA. So half of the DNA from the dad is in the sperm and half of the DNA from the mom is in the egg. And half plus half is equal a whole, to a whole, right? So uh, when you have multiple offspring, which is just a fancy word for kids, um, for all types of organisms, we can use the word offspring. Um, the There's going to be different DNA that's going to be passed down. Like maybe you can think of an example of this. Like maybe you got your dad's hair, but your brother or your sister didn't get your dad's hair. They got your mom's hair. Uh, so the DNA is going to basically mix up differently and show up differently in the different kids. Um, and so that is what I mean by high genetic variation. Um, so the, the kids are going to look different or think about like a dog. Like, let's say you have dogs that are two different colors and they have puppies. The puppies are all going to look different. Like one will be the color of the mom and, you know, the, another one will be the color of the dad and another one might have spots and things like that. And so that's high genetic variation. Variation means differences. With asexual reproduction, you only have one parent. So this is going to happen in unicellular organisms, right? Uh, organisms like an amoeba. Um, or a bacteria, they are basically, it's just going to be the one parent cell and they double themselves. They copy themselves. Every, all their organelles that are inside of them, they make a copy of them and then they split. Um, and so the parent cell looks exactly like the offspring or the offspring looks exactly like the parent cell because it just copied itself. Um, so one parent passes on copies of its genes to its offspring and we call those offsprings daughter cells. That's just what they're called. I don't know why they're not son cells, um, but they're called daughter cells. And we're not going to have any genetic variation here um, because they just copy themselves, right? And they split. Um, so we're going to talk about different types of asexual reproduction, but that's just one example, like what would happen with an amoeba. So again, with sexual reproduction, here's a picture of sperm and egg. You have half of the DNA from the mom and half of the DNA from the dad, and you're going to have high genetic variation. In other words, the kids are going to look different because they get, you know, one kid gets some DNA from the dad, and then the next kid is going to get different DNA from the dad. Um, and so that's what I mean by high genetic variation. I'm sorry if my dog is barking, if you can hear him barking. So here's sexual again, it takes two, male and female. And this process where you have the half plus the half, the sperm plus the egg is called fertilization. So just examples uh, of different animals, like there's outside fertilization, um, or there's inside fertilization inside the female. So that's going to happen in mammals. Um, an example of outside fertilization is a frog. Um, they'll actually uh, release the eggs uh, and then the ma male releases the sperm and covers the, the eggs with sperm. And then that's how they get fertilized. And they're going to have a bunch of eggs because you know, we all know that the frogs just leave the, the, the babies, right? And then hopefully they become tadpoles and frogs and so on. And so they're going to have a lot of babies because chances are a bunch of them are not going to survive, right? Uh, so that's outside the female. Typically with uh, fertilization that happens outside, you're going to have a lot of eggs because it's not as safe of a place to be, right? Outside the female as it is inside the female. Uh, keep in mind that plants are also going to reproduce sexually. There are a few plants that reproduce asexually, like strawberries, uh, but most plants are going to reproduce sexually. Uh, that means that we've got sort of sperm and egg, right? Except it's going to be pollen is kind of like the sperm and it fertilizes the flower. And so sometimes plants will fertilize themselves. The pollen from that plant fertilizes itself. Or sometimes a little bee that's drinking the nectar will come and bring pollen from a different plant and fertilize it that way. So asexual reproduction, this is just an example of binary fission in an amoeba. Um, it's going to 
Uh, usually a single-celled organism, but we've also got multiple uh, multi multicellular organisms that this is happening in. Uh, but so this one, right, it doubles itself and it splits. And the important thing to remember about this is we have no genetic variation. All of the daughter cells are going to look exactly like the parent cell, or all of the 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 offspring is going to look exactly like the parent cell because there was only one parent um, that pr provided that DNA. So asexual takes one parent. And this is binary fission, which I just talked about. A bacteria cell divides in half to form two cells. And here are two other examples. I know that you have probably kicked a mushroom over before in your yard or somewhere. And you notice that there's like this powder that goes everywhere. Uh, and those are actually spores. So each one of those little spores has the possibility to go out into the world and become another mushroom if the conditions are right. Um, but that's, those came from that one parent mushroom that you kicked over. Uh, so it just has DNA from that one mushroom. So again, no genetic variation. And then regeneration, this is like what could happen in sea stars. If you cut off an arm of a sea star and it still has a little bit of the center part of the sea star, it will actually grow into a whole other sea star but the DNA is going to be the same right because it started out as the same sea star so uh, this is something that I'm actually going to go over in more depth when we talk about the human body um, and uh, we'll we'll talk about that a little bit more later but if you have any questions let me know and I will answer them for you the best that I can uh, so message me or come and talk to me during class. Okay, bye. Thank you for visiting Slomo's YouTube channel. Look for us on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. And don't forget to like and subscribe.